How you guys doing? Excellent. How are you doing? Good. Uh, Ryan will be out, and Wiley will be out. Did not clear protocol. Get it out there. Let's go. Let's lead off with it. Get it out there. Twitter fingers. Go, go, go. What's uh, Ryan just uh, didn't make enough progress, I guess, during the course of yeah, the Yeah, again, we talked about those things. Uh, when you are injured, can you protect yourself? Can you do your job? And uh, are you going to make it worse? And through the course of those questions, you know, didn't feel like he could reasonably protect himself at, at the position. You uh, decide who maybe is going to start for you or still the same? Um, the same plan, you know what I mean? Same plan and, you know, not ready to really talk about that, um, but excited to watch both those guys play. Uh, really am. They they, do they've, do they've, they've worked yeah. hard, you yeah. know. They've, um, you know, the whole thing has been somewhat unique situation with, you know, a veteran guy that's won some games for us, two young guys. And I think that that's, you know, been the balance. Um, Will being limited in, in training camp, um, just not being able to, you know, to get a, to get those reps uh, in in a couple of those games that we had talked about, and uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll see both of those quarterbacks uh, on Sunday. Is McCreary uh, still in some doubt? How complicated is that? He'll be listed as questionable. He'll be listed as questionable. We'll we'll know more. Uh, as he comes in tomorrow and see how he feels, and that may go out to the game. And uh, if he's out, how complicated is, is Nick? Uh, complicated from a, a well, learning or comp a movement. Correct. Yeah, you know, Eric Guerrero has been working in there, and um, you know, feel comfortable uh, that he'd be able to step in there and uh, you know take advantage of his opportunity, like we've seen guys over the years uh, be able to do. So. I think we have a plan for, for anything that, that happens at that particular position. How about that punt return? How has the week been for Kyle and, and some of the other guys? Good, that back there? good. Kyle's been good, and, and Eric would be a guy that that uh, could, could be back there potentially well as well, too. And as far as Kiaris Jackson is concerned? Um, Kiaris is still any... on IR, and so you know, when, when we pull guys off IR and they return to play, uh, I have well, the league will know, then, then you guys will know. Chris Moore, kind of clear, he clear your protocol? You did. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah, I apologize. No, it's good. He, he, uh, it is. It's a, you know, it's a good process, you know, very positive process. Um, just through the return to play, practice, impact test, and, and then the independent doctor. So, yes, he did. I apologize. What Terrell and uh, Kayvon do during maybe the course good. of the week after joining a late? You know, I just try to look at. Uh, what their attitude is like, what their willingness is to to want to play. I've talked about Terrell, showed up, you know, played Sunday night, worked a little bit for us on Tuesday and gave me the opportunity just to, you know, say, hey, you know, if you need a recovery, we didn't do a whole lot, but just came in and did some stuff. And, and then Kayvon's been, uh, attitude has been good as well. Even Tannehill won't play, were you kind of encouraged by some of the progress for him in terms of in terms of health? Um, I guess it's, I heard it's like being pregnant, you either are or you aren't, you know, so, uh, wasn't able to, you know, we listed him as out, so. Still pregnant. Yeah, still, still hurt. With the, uh, behind the scenes stuff with the week, and we'll just have you seen him grow over the course of this year and the week last year, film room stuff, leadership stuff. Well, that's always, uh, you know, it's a de delicate situation, you know, it was one guy that, um, you know, just looking back to Ryan, when Ryan came in here and. From his situation in Miami, and you know, Marcus was here. There's a there's a starting quarterback, and so Ryan worked really hard. And but also, I saw a different Ryan when he got you know, became the starter. Um, and, you know, and so I think Will's try to do the same thing, uh, Malik as well. And now that they have uh, opportunities, you know, it's been good. I've seen the communication with with these guys at practice and then talking through stuff on the field. How much can Ryan help be a maybe an extra set of eyes on the sidelines Sunday for those guys as you know maybe throw to the guy throw to the guy that's open. That's the advice. I think is just he can be there and haven't been through a lot of games. I think that certainly helps. Um, you know, maybe talk through some things. And if we're seeing some new things on third down, uh, maybe he could. Certainly help there as well. You feel like Traylon, Traylon, Traylon uh, kind of built some confidence by what he's been able to do the last uh, week in coming back. Well, that would be up to Traylon. I'm not going to yeah. speak on his confidence. Like I think that, yeah, I think he's ready to go. And 
you know, we need them. You know, we need them to, to go in there and, and be productive and make some plays. Can a healthy target. That's a swap post game. They're your fault. Um, yeah, he's not getting my throwback. He's not getting my throwback or their vest, but I'm sure our art's got plenty of jokes. Have, uh, have you and Tyler handled this week much talking? From We've never, Tyler and I have, have exchanged one text message since uh, <laughs> since Saturday, which is about par for the course. About don't Jim? don't hear much from him. You know who Jen's going to be rooting for if he's out there? Tyler will not be out there, okay. but uh, I don't anticipate him. But, I mean, he may get called up tomorrow. I don't anticipate it. Jen better be rooting for the for the damn Titans. I know that she better be, or much, we're gonna have a problem. How much difference do you hope? But maybe a healthy Tart can make getting back in there. Well, we, I, I hope that we can just be disruptive and be productive and and hustle and run to the football and you know do all those things that uh, defensive linemen um, are required to do and should do and can do. And so yeah, so that that that. Can help us if, if he's doing those things. Overall this week, Mike, have you liked how guys have responded on the practice field given how the week started? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, we all have a job to do. We have to come to work, prepare. Ultimately, we get one one test a week, and that's uh, Sunday. So we'll, we'll have to make sure that we're ready for the test and that we go out and, and execute. you got a t- uh, team to coach, obviously, but about 170 former Titans going to be here this week. That, that turned into a pretty cool weekend. Are you glad to see so many guys coming back? Well, I think it's great what, what Amy does and, um, you know, the, how she invites everybody back. And, again, I've talked to many of those Oiler players, and for so long they didn't really have anybody or anything to associate with. I can remember even when I first got here being going back to Houston and, and visiting with those guys uh, at an event that she did and then seeing them here and, I guess you don't really realize it that you know their team that they played for and you know competed for and won with no longer exists. So it's certainly unique when you try to put yourself in their position. Uh, Coach, could you uh, discuss a couple of the Atlanta kids, Arden Key and Chief Congo, and how they're fitting into your team here? I'm Bill Land the Wet Bay Atlanta Journal College. Hi, what was the se- who was the second guy? Chig. Chig. Oh, Chig. Chig. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on a first name basis with Chig. Um, yeah, no, I've enjoyed Arden's, uh, you know, energy, his spirit. I uh, really like working with him, and um, you know, Chig continues to progress, and we have to, you know, continue to to find ways to allow him to help us. And Arden. Art has been great, great personality, great attitude. Again, just, uh, you know, finding ways to, to have him affect the quarterback and, and see if we can turn football over. Or to find D. Orlando for missing a practice right. right earlier in this training camp. That's right. Hey, what do you think? 500 G's for uh, staying on vacation. Uh, tell him. It takes, 500, tell, not 500 G's. No, 500. That much, yeah. That's like that's like one that's like one that's like one share of FedEx stock. He brought in a big check. Yeah, we paid it and uh, he matched it. Arthur Blake matched to uh, donate it to the Civil Rights Museum downtown. Nice. So it was. I I'm gonna I'm gonna start. I gladly find these guys. <laughs> Um, well, uh, you talk regularly with Caleb. Sorry, you're the top of the list. I uh, see Caleb. I, I see Caleb uh, every day. Yeah, just kind of maybe any sense of how he's coming along with uh, just, going through so much. Again, it's uh, there's 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 weakness. You know, what I mean, it's kind of where he was when he was coming out and with the calf. And so let's say he does some work, and uh, then it it just kind of weakens up on him, and that's that's I know frustrating for him. He's worked extremely hard and. You know, we talk about these nerves, and at any point in time, it could kind of regenerate. But it's not from a lack of effort and not from a lack of work on his part. Um, So it's good to see him. And, and again, his ability to stay positive through through a lot of adversity has been um, something I think we all uh, can appreciate and recognize. It's fun. I enjoy it. What do you see from the league in in the Two professional athletes uh, that are trying to help us win games. You try to do your best every week, but when you got a young quarterback out there, you know, 
situation where everybody's got to do more, be better than even the lines out here? Well, it's got to do your job, no matter who's out there. Uh, you know, I don't think it's more or less. Just do your job, and I'll be there for those guys. Do you have more extensive conversations with them during a practice week like this because maybe – there's more unfamiliarity not having practice with them so much? Uh, Tim Kelly does a great job of getting those guys ready uh, and the whole offensive crew. So, uh, you know, we go out and help those guys when uh, our number's called. What, what do you tell a guy like – You guys two and four, obviously, you need to like the ship pretty soon. How How's the mentality in here? Well, um, you know, just trying to win a game. You know, it's, it's work week. Can't look in the past. Uh, you know, I, I feel like everybody's looking, uh, you know, forward to, you know, getting after the Falcons this week. And um, you what, know, that's, that's it. What do you talk about with a guy like Will, who's going to be seeing his first NFL action on Sunday, and, and what what try to, things can you try to do to help him get over the get past the initial nerves and all? Uh, I don't think there's too much, uh, you know, verbally that's going to you know dictate what he does for me telling him. Take it upon yourself to talk to anybody in the organization, saying either. I want to stick around, or, or you know, or not, vice versa. Do you are there any conversations in that regard? Um, I do my job when my number's called, uh, and I, I'm a Tennessee Titan. Along those lines, with the with the trade of Kevin Byard, what, what are your thoughts on that? I know you came here to this team with the intentions of winning. Obviously, trading the team captain, you know, for week and that. KB, you know, he welcomed me with open arms when I first came in. Uh, it's you know, it's football. It's a business. Uh, nobody plays forever. Uh, so, you know, obviously uh, everyone in this locker room one day is going to, you know, be retired or, you know, be on a different team. Uh, and that's just how it goes. That's that's football. And, you know, KB or any other guy, whoever gets traded, you know, it's, it's part of business. Uh, how has the locker room been, you know, after that, that move? Like, as an offense, you look at it like, hey, man, like we got to come together and make up for, you know, that, that loss on the other side of the ball. Um, you know, we're professional athletes, uh, and, you know, we, we go out and do our job and focus on what you have to do. Uh, but I don't think, you know, worrying about, you know, other people's jobs is, is going to help necessarily help you do your job. So, uh, you know, it's taking accountability and, and what we have to do. Were you surprised your background? at all when you heard the news? Excuse Were you me? surprised at all when you heard the news? What news? KB getting traded. Um, it's football. With, with your back, with your background in Houston, how how excited are you to wear the Oiler uniform on Sunday? Um, you know, I don't think it really necessarily matters to me what uniform I got on. I don't really care. You know, I'm gonna go out and do my job. So, um, yeah. How, how you, you and JJ how, how, you like it, how do you think you'll look in it? How do I think I'll look? Um, I really don't care what I have on, what color jersey, uh, where it is, you know. So, trying to go out and win a game. That's that's what I'm worried about, didn't not a jersey. Didn't you and JJ express a fondness for those uniforms when you were Texans? You, Excuse you, me? Didn't you and JJ express a fondness for them? Didn't you post the Instagram of you in it at one point? Uh, I did. Uh, it's been kind of challenging, but uh, you know, I just stick to my roots, know what I have to do, and um, just know that God's gonna do whatever to make sure that I am good. So I don't, I don't too much sit there and dwell on it. I just do what I can. Was it connected to your injury that you had? No, sir. You feel like you're as close to your work, close to your health wise as you were before Minnesota. Uh, yeah. I mean, I feel pretty good, man. Um, and I'm just ready to see myself out there on Sunday. Any After. kind of ramp up here, Traylon? Say it again? Any kind of ramp up or do you get to go full speed as many snaps as you need? Um, I'm just, you know, I'm out there doing whatever I can to get to Sunday. After the first injury, before the second injury, do you feel like you were at 100% for that time or was it still trying to work through some discomfort? I mean, you know, I just say that God, you know, he had other plans. And, you know, so I'm going to get – I am where I am now, and, you know, I'm happy to be where I am. What's it been like trying to get acclimated to a new quarterback with uh, Will <clears throat> and uh, Malik? I mean, it hasn't been too much different because I've – I mean, I've thrown with those guys since they first got here. So, um, it's just going out there and playing on Sunday and get a win. I know you don't have any control over it, but is it hard still when it's kind of gone in fits and starts? Like, you know, you're, you're healthy for several weeks and maybe miss a couple of them. That's – it's part of it. Yeah. Um you know, there's nothing that I can do about that, but just be thankful for what, you know, God's blessed me with and just keep moving.
Does anything change for you if there are multiple quarterbacks rotating in and out, or is it kind no, of the same thing? It's the same thing. 